I am Nathalie Graef Santa Maria, Senior Language Lead at Kudo, and it is a pleasure to interview a special guest today. I am not going to tell you who she is, she will introduce herself in a minute, but before we go there, uh, we will do this interview in French, as it is our native language, well, one of our guests' native languages at, at least. If you are interested in following in English, Interpretation is available through the link on social media. And this is possible also thanks to our interpreter today, Alex. So thank you very much. And now let me go into French to start this interview. Elise. Bon Elise, hi, good morning. Thank you for being here today with us. Thank you for being here for this interview. For those of us who do not know you, I am, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak with you today with the second person of the singular because I know you personally. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, Natalie. Thank you for inviting me. So I'm an interpreter. I have started in November 2002 after studying languages at um, in Paris, and then I did a master's in interpretation studies. And also because I have a multilingual family with a mom and a, and a dad who speak in different languages. So my mom is actually in interpretation and tourism, but I have always been in a multilingual environment, which has enabled me to listen to many different languages, especially French and Italian, but also English and Portuguese. And so interpretation has always been something that seemed natural to me from the very start because I had always been hearing people speaking different languages and communicating am among themselves. Okay, so you really wanted to become an interpreter from your early age. And so how did you discover this profession? Have you already heard about it? When you were a small child, did you already do some interpretation? Well, yes, kind of. And then I could also see my mom doing this kind of role, even though it was for tourism. But then I had a lot of acquaintances, friends who were also translators or interpreters actually. And so I had a lot of luck to know an interpreter when I was 15. And she was a really magnificent woman. And she gave me this passion for the profession. You have just mentioned the word passion. I think many of us as interpreters, we really have this this passion for languages, for communication and for this need to help people communicate among each other. But there's also something else which is also what makes me passionate about this job is that when in my job I'm able to bring two passions together, the one of interpretation and also the passion for the subject that I'm going to interpret. And sometimes we are lucky enough to be able to bring these two passions together. And so has this been the case for you once or twice? Or I imagine for my case, this was literature. And you mentioned that you did some linguistic studies. So did you have the chance to interpret for an author, for instance? Yes, of course. I am absolutely, I absolutely agree with you. I think this is a passion, and this passion is really what carries us to do this, to do this profession. And you have to succeed. It's really not easy, and you have to persevere. And one of the aspects that I really like is the fact that it's always a challenge for us. You always have to learn to study, and that's what you were saying before, because we all have a past. And for for mine, it's languages and literature, and for instance, the arts in my case, because this is one of my passions. And so it's true that when you interpret, sometimes you could interpret for artists, for designers, architects, and you think, wow, this is really both my passions at the same time. And so I think, I think I'm really useful because this is a profession in which your aim is to be useful because you help people to understand themselves but it's also that your passion grows because you can learn and it's really enriching and this enrichment never stops so yes absolutely absolutely i agree with you 
Thank you for your point of view. And so at the beginning of this interview, I was mentioning that we have known each other for a lot of time. We knew each other thanks to Kudo, and this is what brings us together today. And so if I remember well, I think it was at the beginning of 2020 that you joined us and that you started your interpreter's journey inside Kudo as a Kudo certified interpreter, then a Kudo pro, and then and then towards uh, Kudo Marketplace when it appeared. So could you please tell us a bit more on your experience inside of Kudo? Well, it's really important to set up for new technologies and to keep up with the progress. And it's really important in, in every job, especially in ours, because we have to work with technology. And I have to say that with Kudo, it really enables interpreters to be autonomous, to have an independence also. And it's a platform which is really cutting edge, a cutting edge technology. So I think in the four co-founders who are all professionals in their sectors and you can feel it, you can see it, you can see that it's concrete. You have interpretation, business technology all coming together and you can really feel that it's really serious. There is a lot of experience, a lot of professionalism. And so I think, especially with Kudo Marketplace, it gives this added value and this autonomy and independence because in the end, you can just give your availabilities and then accept to work whenever you are free. And so that's really excellent. It gives you a lot of autonomy. And so what advice would you give uh, since you have this experience on the platform, on Kudo platform? So which advice would you give to interpreters who are not on Kudo yet and who haven't started uh, remote simultaneous interpretation yet? Well, as I was saying, I think it's a very useful tool, a very professional tool, and it gives you a lot of autonomy, a lot of independence, and the possibility to manage your timetable w the way that you like. And I think that technology is the basis of our profession. So I think it's really good to be able to adapt to your time and to integrate this mentality, this future mentality. And it's really, really this future, you know, Thank you, Elise. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure for me. And it was a pleasure to be able to interview today. So thank you for taking the time to connect. I hope we will be able to see each other in a very close future, you know, live. And for all the interpreters who are here actually listening to us, if you're interested and you would like to know more about Kudo and the Kudo platform and how to use it as an interpreter, you will be able to find all the information in this post. So thank you very much. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you Otto for uh, the organization. Thank you Alex for the interpretation. And so this is what enabled us to have this interview in French. And I hope to see you soon on Kudo. Bye. Bye, thank you very much, thank you.